Uh, oh. oh, whoa, what is that? Do what I see a pirate? Be... Oh, it's a pirate! Arg, mateys! Uh, I'm Jax! Jax be here! I be plundering many booty. Captain Jax Sparrow. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna take that now! <laughs> you should, you should make wow. that his name. Isn't there a captain title? I don't know. Captain I hope there Jax is. Sparrow. You should make the guild Sparrow. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Alright, so we haven't seen Outlaw Rogue throughout the entire tournament, so it's important that we know what they do. It looks like uh, he's playing Outlaw to gain the PvP talent Dismantle, so he's able to disarm his opponent for 8 seconds. So he's looking to get even more control to slow down the damage, so that's a smart choice defensively for them. Um, let's see if the Outlaw Rogue can keep up with the damage, though, that Assassination was dishing out. Yep. Well, I think it's going to be... I, I think it's a smart decision. I think Assassination Rogues uh, are the ones that get countered by Rat Paladins. Other Rogue Specs can deal with them uh, decently well. Looks like my camera's all messed up. So. Full, uh, full sap on Joxy. They're going to open up on Evangeline. They've already got him down to half HP, but we know what happens when Rep Paladins get low, and I'm wondering if he's trying to bait them into a situation where he can equality Holy Wrath them back. He's getting very low here. Is he going to go for the Swifty Reverse one-shot? He's down to 10%. Spirit Link gets dropped. Doesn't look like they have it. Maybe he's actually not talented into it. It's kind of interesting. Um, no, it looks like he's actually not talented into it, so they are going to be able to train down Evangeline and not be and not have to be a, uh, afraid of that Evangeline, or sorry, uh, Holy Wrath. Yeah, Jax right now does have that adrenaline rush up. He's going to be doing a tremendous amount of damage. Jax, had, I think he already used his trinket as well in that opener. Uh, the stun going out onto Evangeline. He's still on the retreat. Uh, Rub Cup getting dangerously low, though. Actually forced into that bubble. Joxy now into that DR polymorph. Evangeline still doing an excellent job cutting, really not taking too much damage for the time being. Rub Cup now using that Avenging Wrath. They want to get aggressive onto Evangeline. The triple DR polymorph going out onto Joxy. Evangeline hovering at around 60% HP. Still doing the best he can to kite the hex coming out from Joxy onto Wealthy Man. Rub Cup now caught into the full hodge at around 60% HP. He's trying to get off those casts over and over and over. Finally, a stun coming out from Jax onto Evangeline. Uh, Wealthy Man and Jax trying to cause as much pressure as possible. Wealthy Man doing a great job controlling uh, Sora right now with those polymorphs. The dismantle going out from Jax onto Mame. Um, so right now, Mame is caught into the dismantle. Oh, wow. uh, Joxy actually getting hodged up there. Was that removed by Evangeline? I think it might have been. Evangeline now still dipping low. Rub Cub no longer has his wings up though, so he is definitely a good target for Mame as well as Evangeline. If they connect onto him, Rub Cub getting really, really low, down to 14% HP, trying to get off those casts. Colossus Smash is up, down to 3% HP, and Mame and Evangeline are going to be able to take him down. Whoa, Evangeline's whoa, still whoa, at around 20% HP as well. Uh, the Divine Shield is going to be coming out though, and Sora is going to be completely fine. Oh, forgot about Auto Bubble. My bad. I got a little excited there. Just a little bit. Auto bubble. <laughs> it kind of looks so. It kind of looks like terrifying. Just seeing Rub Cub, this little tiny female blood elf, just hopping with this giant orc warrior, just like crushing it. It's like a really awkward looking scenario for <laughs> Rub Cub. Yeah, I wonder if Evangeline's going to run the Holy Wrath Equality spec, knowing that they went after him that game would then be the next step. So instead, he's running Divine Purpose, which uh, every time he spends Holy Power, he has a 20% chance to make his next Holy Power spending ability free. So it's just 20% chance to increase his damage overall, rather than kind of relying on that gimmick that only works if they go on him. So he's going to gain a little bit of extra damage overall, definitely participated towards getting the kill. And then Blessing of Sanctuary is the honor talent uh, Evangeline's using to remove all of those stuns on his healer, and it's really important for him to constantly get every stun that he can, so that his healer has the most uptime to keep his team going. Yep, we'll have to see how uh, Jax, Wolfman, and Rubcub decide to open up this game. Um, yeah, I think... It might be smarter for them to go on Mame and try to get that cross you see onto Evangeline instead. It seems like it's way easier for Evangeline to still be effective and run away. But it looks like they're going to sap up Joxy and uh, get onto Evangeline immediately. Jack's taking a little bit of damage, going to be throwing out that Cloak of Shadows. He wants to just be able to connect onto Evangeline. Blind going out onto Joxy as well. The Dragon's Breath going out onto Mame. Good cross you see coming out from Northern Black, but Mame going to break that up with the Triple Fear. Now the Hex onto Wealthy Man. Uh, Sora wants to get aggressive using that Avatar as well as that Avenging Wrath onto Rub Cub, who is at around 30% HP. He's trying to get away. Uh, looks like he does manage to get away. Jax and Wealthy Man doing an excellent job peeling there. Evangeline taking a little bit of damage now caught into the full cheap shot. Joxy actually not crowd control at all. He did get caught he actually got interrupted now into a full polymorph. He decides to do Trinket and Spirit Link. Triple Dragon's Breath coming out after that from Wealthy Man into the DR polymorph onto Joxy, but I think Evangeline should be able to survive. 
Uh, I don't know. He's sipping kind of low here. Joxy's trying to get some heals so that they can go on to Rub Cub. Um, they just basically waited it out, waited for Rub Cub's Avenging Wrath, and now that he's isolated, he's kind of just hiding on the bottom, and his, pl his partners are playing on the edge of the bridge. That's good communication so that Rub Cub can stay as far away from the fight, but Mame charges over, eventually goes for the Hodge. It's a two-on-one healer situation. Wealthy Man caught in a spell, reflected Polly, and Rub Cub's on the run, mounting up on that Divine Steed, crossing the bridge, trying to hide behind Wealthy Man so he can just polymorph and Nova the melee as they come across. I really like the positioning from Northern Black in this map. Yeah, me too. Now Joxy caught into that full polymorph. Jax actually using that adrenaline rush, but he's getting really low as well. Sacrifice coming up from Rub Cub on a Jax that should be able to keep him up. Evangeline getting dismantled up there. He's not going to be able to attack. Also getting really, really low. Cross CC once again coming up from Northern Black. The Hodge and the polymorph out on the main. And Joxy Evangeline down at 10% HP. He does have that bubble up. Uh, he doesn't have to worry about dying without that bubble because it is auto commanding shout coming out from um, Mame, that rallying cry. Um, should be able to keep him up. Joxy now spamming out those hexes as well as those heals eventually and just sitting at around 30% HP. Uh, Jack still taking quite a bit of damage, but a uh, Rub Cub now getting swapped to as well. Colossus smash out from Mame onto him. Is he going to be able to heal through the damage? It doesn't look like it right now. He does get away, but immediately Evangeline and Mame swapping over onto Jack. So Rub Cub really just has to focus on getting back into the fight, and he does, and he's able to get a big heal onto Jack's. Oh, Joxy caught into that full polymorph. They're looking to try and get the bubble out from Evangeline. Evangeline doesn't even care. Just going all in. He's dismantled and disarmed right now, so his damage will be reduced, but he ultimately reconnects, and now Rub Cub needs to start running away. He purges the Blessing of Freedom. Rub Cub's just moving like a snail, trying to escape the fight. Pops his Avenging Wrath. He needs to get some cast off. Decides to bubble instead. Gets a bit, gets his artifact weapon off. It's going to boost his healing here. He needs as much HPS as possible to deal with the damage that Sora is dishing out. Wealthy Man trying to control the fight. It's interrupted on that polymorph. Goes for the Frost Nova, rooting him in place. Rub Cub crossing the map again on that Divine Steed, but he's caught into the stun on the Divine Steed. He's going to get locked down in place. Luckily, though, Mame is in a polymorph that's buying him a little breathing room, and now eventually getting counter pressured down to 30%. Joxy caught into the full polymorph. He does decide to trink it out of that to keep his team going. Uh, it looks like Rub Cub could be in trouble if they can connect, but eventually is so low on HP. Auto Bubble is going to trigger. Is he going to be able to reconnect? It looks like he's just healing up instead. He wants to make sure that he's safe, and I like the distance that Rub Cub makes. Every time his, his, the enemy team gets CC'd, he positions as far away as possible. He goes down on the bottom. He tells his teammates to move to the edge of the bridge. That way he can stay 40 yards away. And Northern Black are playing this match very well, but it just might not matter here towards the end of the game. He's caught into the stun. Avatar's up from Mame. Uses that Blessing of Protection. Joxy needs to purge it off. He purges it off instantly. And now Rub Cub's on the run. Divine Steed, he purges the Blessing of Freedom. Joxy's committing the rest of his mana to keep his team going onto Rub Cub. Double Fear onto the DPS. 3v1 onto Rub Cub. He's still dealing with the situation very well, despite being just crushed by these melee at the same time. Mame stunned on the Dispel on that Polymorph. Eventually still connected. Will they be able to finish him off? I don't know. He's caught into the stun once again. Nova onto Mame. Wealthy Man is the only reason Rub Cub is alive right now. And eventually could easily go down. He's overextending down to 30%. Joxy caught in the full polymorph. Eventually has nothing left. And eventually will fall. Northern Black take game number two. Tying this series up one to one. Yeah, Joxy actually just became completely tapped there. He went down to 1% man. He ended up regening a little bit in the blind. I counted. I think Jax got four blinds off that game. Which is pretty crazy because of like the cooldown reduction that um, that spec has. I think he actually used blind four times. So Jax is still playing Outlaw for this Dismantle talent, so he can disarm uh, either eventually or Mame for, 40, for 8 seconds every 45, so I think that's a smart choice there. Um, it's interesting that he's actually running Cannonball Barrage. I, I feel like this talent was kind of just like a lull talent, like, oh, it's fun, yeah, it's cool, but I felt like Killing Spree would be better. I mean, I don't. I haven't played a lot of Outlaw Rogue to dictate that, um, but maybe Killing Spree would be better single target um, than Cannonball Barrage. I guess he gets it more often. It's also a slow. Uh, yeah, the slow know. might be nice. There's something to think about, but oh, uh, anyway, the game is about to start on Dalaran Sewers. Let's see if Rub Cub's team can keep up their positioning that they had in game number two, or if Soar is just going to smork the healer down once again. Yeah, Joxy actually getting sapped up there by Jax. Well done to him. Adrenaline Rush coming out immediately. Evangeline once again being targeted down. Did he actually change? Yeah, he went into Holy Wrath, so he has that now. Um, Northern Black needs to be careful of that ability because Evangeline can turn around and one-shot if he gets low enough HP. Mame trying to counter-pressure a little bit here with that Avatar. It is going to be fading up. Joxy gets caught into the full bond eventually, looking like he does not want to bob it. Just trying to do the best he can to kite for the time being. Rub Cub has that Avenging Wrath up right now. His healing and his damage is going to be empowered by quite a bit. A Jax still has that adrenaline rush up. Just doing so much damage onto Evangeline right now. This could actually be his bubble if Joxy can't connect some heals onto him. But Evangeline's still doing an excellent job at kiting. Joxy now caught into the DR Dragon's Breath. Jax getting CC'd up a little bit by Mame. But Evangeline just still on the run. Just hasn't been able to get aggressive the entire game. Does have that one-shot potential down to around 10% HP. Might have to use it. The auto bubble comes out. 
Uh, now that he's low HP, he might want to take advantage of uh, the damage reflect as he runs over to Rub Cub. I think he's going to try to get that burst off, but it uh, doesn't look like he's able to take advantage of it. Joxy now caught into the Blood Elf Silence. The Sheep on a May. Evangeline's still in a lot of trouble. Down at 20% HP. Joxy gets locked out on his heel. Evangeline needs to get away. Joxy drops the Spirit Link Totem. Uh, Jax once again has that adrenaline. Uh, does adrenaline rush ever go away? It's up for another 27 seconds. Looks like it's up the whole game, but Rub Cub did an amazing job kiting away from Evangeline. He actually used his equality at around 30% HP, and it didn't do any damage because Rub Cub was able to get distance when Evangeline got low. And that's the important uh, decision there. Is like if you're going to burst him down, make sure that the target the Red Pound wants to be attacking gets away so that he's out of range. It looks like they got complete control on Joxy. He actually decides to trinket out of that blind. Blessing and protection has been used from Evangeline. And at this point, Team Sore really don't have a lot going for them a full son of Joxy removed, instant, removed instantly by Evangeline they're trying to get some kind of pressure on Rub Cub for him running in like that they do purge off the Blessing and Freedom but that forced Joxy in the open into a full polymer if Evangeline decides to go offensive he could just lose the game so he decides to pull back line of sight wealthy man trying to avoid a little bit of extra damage as much as he can roll the bones comes out I think it's only a two buff if that could have been a six buff it could just be the end of the game Evangeline down half HP he's dismantled he's trying to make sure that he can't swap onto Jax uh, looks like Mame's just getting polymorphed for now and Evangeline in this full defensive position is, I guess, waiting for his Avenging Wrath to come up for some counter-offensive. Rub Cub's moving in. He moves into a triple fear out from main. They're going to make a swap onto Rub Cub. Now caught in that full stun. Here comes the Avenging Wrath. They're looking to dish out a lot of damage. Joxy goes for the Hex, but he gets Polymorph on the cast. Unfortunately for him, it breaks to the Ignite. Bladestorm out from main. They're just trying to train down Rub Cub. Rub Cub trades out his Avenging Wrath. That's going to boost his healing a lot. They're going to stay offensive. they got a decent CC chain going on Joxy. They need to follow up that blind with a Sap or a Polymorph to follow it up with the stun instead. Rub Cub getting that chain going, but it gets Blessing of Sanctuary off. Eventually, it's dipping lower and lower. Eye for an eye is up but it's just faded. Eventually, has 12% HP remaining. No Spirit Links left. Joxy goes for the cast. He gets Blood Elf Silence by Rub Cub. And down goes Evangeline. Northern Black 2-1 up against Soar. Well, that's a very comfortable position to be in, winning on uh, Soar's map choice there. Uh, Northern Black, of course, only two games away from closing out the entire tournament. Um, Soar, of course, has to win this best of seven, so they have to win three more and then uh, another best of five if they hope to win this tournament. Uh, if they're really low HP, and Rhett's Breach and Paladins don't really have to worry about um, dying without their bubble anymore. They now have uh, auto bubble. Should be something I wish I had back on my day on a Frost Mage, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I want to get this amount Rub Cub has. I didn't think it looked that cool, so I didn't buy it. I bought the other one. I didn't know this thing had a rocket on the back of it. Oh, you see rocket? <laughs> like, in a way. <laughs> I think you get that for winning 50 arenas. Maybe it's like win 100 arenas. I don't know. Maybe you can get that. That's a cool looking mount. Either way, the game's going to start. Northern Black are up 2 1 in the series. It is a best of seven, so still a lot of games ahead of us. Jox securing an early sap on the Joxy, opening right up onto Evangeline, but he's going to have no support from his team, so I'm wondering if if maybe he's going to make a swap. Uh, it looks like Wealthy Man's trying to blink in, goes for the Polymorph, gets wind sheared on the Polymorph. Good awareness from Joxy. He needs to get out of line of sight. Line of sight's that next Polymorph, really important for him to avoid CC, but they followed up with a blind. Interesting that Evangeline isn't going to be bopping that off. Mame is in crowd control. It's a 3v1 on Evangeline. Is he going to try and set up a Holy Wrath? Rub Cub's keeping space. As long as Rub Cub's He's very far from Evangeline when he gets low HP. He will not be able to use that equality effectively. He's down into that critical range of equality, but he just can't use it. Spirit Link gets dropped instead. He's going to hold on to it, wait for a better opportunity. Full stun over onto Rub Cub. He's down to half HP. Eventually getting feared up, or sorry, stunned up. Not able to connect the way that he would. Nice fear out from Mame. Controlling Wealthy Man, trying to stay on his target. Rub Cub, Divine Steeds away. Uh, Mame getting polymorphed. Instant dispelled by Joxy. Mame desperately trying to stay on his target, but Eventually just can't attack him. And I feel like at this point, if they're going on Eventually, they should just go on Jax and try and use that Holy Wrath for a one shot on him. And I guess maybe they don't need it. Maybe it's soloing Rub Cub. He's down to 40%. Eventually still trying to connect another blind onto Joxy. This could be the auto bubble. It looks like he's going to try and set up an equality here. Uh, I would I like it on Jax, if anything. Avenging Wrath gets popped from both Paladins. Eventually down to 14%. Gets right on top of Rub Cub. Is he going to go for the equality or not? Uh, it doesn't look like he's going for it just yet. Rub Cub will survive for a few more seconds. Both Paladins under a lot of pressure in this match. Yeah, Joxy actually trinketing out there. Evangeline does not have a trinket as well, so the next CC chain they're able to get on Joxy and Evangeline it could be the game, but it could also just be over earlier. Rub Cub trying to get those Holy Lights off to himself. Um, he actually lands one, gets just a huge heal. Jack still doing a tremendous amount of damage onto Evangeline. The Polymorph out onto Mame. Evangeline caught into that full stun, taking a lot of damage, but Joxy's able to just spam out those casts, finally getting hodged up. Wealthy Man trying to go for the Polymorph onto Joxy, but he's not able to land at Rub Cub. In the meantime, having to use uh, his Divine Protection there, so did use that bubble. It was forced out by I saw Evangeline, I believe, still has his Divine Shield. 
The video, video, I think he might have already used the Divine Shield, but yeah, he's uh, still dangerously low right now. Joxy into that triple DR polymorph, the full stun out onto Evangeline. Fib. And ECC on a Joxy, Evangeline could just go down. 13% HP, Joxy trying everything he can to keep him up. There goes the bubble. And uh, now Evangeline in a situation where I think he has his trinket up, but he does not have that Divine Protection. Joxy does not have his trinket as well, so it could be very scary. But Jack's actually a little bit Ooh. low too in the meantime. Yeah, Jax is dipping dangerously low, and this is what I would like to see from Team Sora split their pressure. They've got Rub Cub locked down into that stun, and they might be able to finish him off. And Joxy can purge off that bop, purge off, purges off the bop. Mame is going to reconnect. Avatar is up. Rub Cub could go down. He's on the run with that freedom. Jax is peeling. Wealthy Man slowing down the melee as well, trying to keep his CC chain going. on. Joxy trying to get a kill on Evangeline at the same time, but now Jax, Jax is getting turned around. Rub Cub's forced to bop him. Joxy not looking to purge off that bop. I think they're trying to hold on to the remaining mana that he has. Evangeline trying to heal himself back up. Mame trying to get a kill on his own popping that battle cry goes into the dragon's breath goes into the polymorph nice shutdown from wealthy man eventually will survive behind the pillar but jack's actually forced busting a protection by himself so now eventually basically has nothing yeah that was a full blind on a joxy as well so he's not going to have that available to cc him uh we need to see some hodges coming up from rub cub on the joxy if he can position himself to do that so wealthy man can get the sheeps out um sora really doesn't have too many defensive cooldowns left in this next setup the full dragon's breath out on the joxy if he can follow it up with a full polymorph eventually could be in a lot of trouble rub cub also getting low but the avenging wrath is going to be coming out from him adrenaline rush still popped by Jax. the dr polymorph going out onto joxy into a full hodge evangeline needs to get away he needs to be able to heal himself up a little bit joxy finally out of that crowd control uh, drops the Earthen Shield Totem. Uh, Evangeline should be able to survive unless he kites out of it. He's going to be taking full damage if that's the case. The full blind going out on Joxy. Joxy actually pre-links that, but they kill it so fast it doesn't break, break the blind. Jax actually taking a little bit of damage. He gets that sacrifice coming out from Rub Cub as well as that Cloak of Shadows. So he should be just fine. DR Polymorph going out on to Joxy. Evangeline trying to get away, trying to live at 20% HP. Rub Cub also dipping dangerously low. The full polymorph out on the Maimon is, is cooldowns, but it eventually Evangeline is wait, going wait, to fall. Wait. Mame could get the cross kill though. Rub Cub down to 14% HP, 12% HP. He needs to try to get away. Mame getting crowd controlled up. The dismantle going out from Jax, paying dividends onto Mame there. Uh, so Rub Cub should maybe be able to survive the full Nova out onto Mame. Gets dispelled out of it, but I think it's going to be too little, too late. Uh, Rub Cub still doing his best, using that freedom as well as that Divine Steed to get away. It looks I mean, like he no is able to okay, yeah. leave. I was going like, to say, like, he's got nothing if they can turn on any pressure, but no. It looks like uh, Soar are going to be down 3-1. to one. They need to win three in a row to take the series, or Northern Black will be the champions of the first Method GCD Legion Invitational. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like if any, any, besides maybe the healers, even the healers, I feel like everyone, if they want to do well in tournaments, so they want to do well at regionals, they want to do well at BlizzCon, like, they need to be playing multiple sex and multiple classes. Otherwise, they're just, like, kind of a burden on their team. Full sap on Joxy, starting this game off aggressively once again onto Evangeline. Uh, cheap shot, it does get artifacted out of by Evangeline, so he will not have that to avoid any CC future on. Full blind on Joxy, and this is the decision Evangeline's made every game to not bop that immediately, and it, it puts him pretty far behind unless they're going to set up a kill on the Rogue. He might be trying to get a Holy Wrath off here towards the end of this match. He's dismantled right now. He's down to 9%, down to 19 He could just go for it. No, instead, Joxy drops the Spirit Link, Triple Fear out from Mame. I would argue maybe that's a bit of an overlap. It would be nice to space the Fear out and the Spirit Link out separately as they are both really good defensive cooldowns if they use them defensively. Uh, eventually pops his Avenging Wrath, but he gets stunned on it. He trinkets right away. They're going all in onto Rub Cub. They're going to try and push through his Avenging Wrath, but I feel like that just never works against the Holy Palette, and you're better off just waiting for it. We'll have to wait and see how it, pay, how it works for them. Evangeline getting really low, though, down to 10% HP. This is going to be his bubble, most likely. Joxy caught into that DR Polymorph, and now Evangeline is caught into a situation where he might be overextending, but they need to get the bubble out from Rub Cub. If they can force his bubble here, he's not going to have any cooldowns for quite some time to sustain. They might be able to kill him through, but the gouge going out onto Evangeline. Mame getting crowd controlled up by Wealthy Men as well. Excellent job. Excellent CC coming out from the team of Northern Black. The Hodge going out onto Joxy. Evangeline down to 5% HP, and that's going to be it. Uh, Rub Cub is forced into that bubble. He's going to be completely fine, but Northern Black is going to take this series 4-1, to one, and they are going to be the tournament champions. Yep, congratulations. congratulations to them. Yeah. To Northern Black, uh, Soar with a hard-fought smork battle. Start to finish, Rub Cub must die. Unfortunately, Northern Black are able to defuse that melee cleave, get some good control, and execute a kill. So 4-1 to one is the score. Northern Black are the victors of the first Method GCD Invitational for Legion, and I really hope that we're going to have more tournaments like this. It's always exciting to have the community tournaments on top of the uh, BlizzCon events as well.